Here's the plan. I will lure Emily and her companion to our old home. They will find me there with Grandmother Barbara. Barbara will be elated to learn of our existence. Until recently, Chase and I, we knew nothing of her, and she knows nothing of us. Miriam had secretly bet on Chase and Chance wanting to return home once they learned they had a blood relative. She felt strongly that the twins would be elated to have a living, paternal connection to their true father. We will be the only living relatives who can carry out the family lineage. She will learn exactly how Stanley died. She would then confront Emily, who she loves dearly. While Barbara pulls at Emily's heartstrings, we will influence Emily's mind and drown her as she attempted to drown us so many years ago. Chase and I will render her companion helpless as he watches her life slowly and terrifyingly dissipate. As Emily dies, we expect that her companion's power will subside and then he will be burned to death just like they did Judge Marshall. Chase explained to Dolores the details of the plan and provided a warning. It's going to happen so quickly. I want you to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Enough talk about this horrible witch. How's the food? Who's been feeding you guys? You look so grown up. I can hardly tell who you resemble most. Donald took the form of one of the twins and reenacted the conversation he had overheard. Emily was quite impressed with Donald's abilities, but equally infuriated realizing that the boys had survived and thrived over all these years. She took great care to observe how much the boys had grown. This was impressive. To her, they equally shared the looks and mannerisms of both of their parents. They had their mother's ginger curly hair and her chin. They had the eyelashes, eyes, and smile of their father. Emily was also abnormally impressed with the way the two had eluded her for all these years. She respected them and was most happy to learn that they shared a mutual hatred for one another. The twins' hatred was fueled by the knowledge of their father's death. Emily's hatred was fed by the idea that they even existed at all. They were the living biological heirs to their father. They were the beloved, even from the grave, of their dead grandfather. Emily hated that thought. They were living and breathing while her son was dead, brought back to life only by magic and relegated to a life of plural existence. Thank you, my love, for bringing this news to me. Do they really think they can outpower me? Their eyes bring me great pain. They look like the eyes I trusted and loved completely. Those same eyes once looked lovingly onto you, Donald, before he took your life from the church's parking lot to provide just enough time for those beloved twins to escape. Those eyes possess the same glimmer and golden flecks that once sparkled for me, yet I realized that they also sparkled for Ellen and the children in that den of filth. Every day for 13 years, he looked at me with those eyes. He never shared his pain. He never shared the rejection of his father. He never shared the doubts of loving me, of loving us. We could have we could have been adults. We could have cared for one another. We could have determined what was best, either moving in the direction of individuality or collective happiness. It's settled. It's settled. Donald didn't contribute to any part of her conversation. He didn't attempt to answer her. He didn't even ask what she meant when she said it settled. He felt it best to be present and unheard. Emily was very unlike the way he remembered or knew his mother before all of this happened. Donald simply transformed back into her protector and looked Emily attentively in her eyes. I will kill the strong one and remove the eyes of the weak one. Neither of them can have my husband's eyes. Since I lost one child, he'll lose one child in death. I hope Stanley and his father look up from hell and scream that they turn in their graves. The cat looked on. His expression was in agreement. His head nod indicated that he would obey. Oh, and I won't hesitate to kill her. The cat's eyes offered a questioning look. The cat then walked away. <laughs>